Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Terror Genesis episode six with our series here. And we had a terrorist attack. Terrorists, they detonated a bomb inside our O2 filter in uh, Ricard and destroyed it completely. So that really sucks. Due to a flaw in construction, your level two biofixial lab in New Hope has been crushed by the intense atmospheric pressure. Yikes. So we had a couple things go wrong there at once. We'll go ahead though and take a look at this. Heat still declining slowly. Pressure almost down to six million. And the oxygen has almost capped out. I've got maybe another day. Water's just doing water things. Ooh, it's almost uh, where it needs to be, though. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Excuse me. Jeez. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, I don't have to sneeze, and then I start recording, and I got to sneeze. Okay. <laughs> ah, Hab Dome plus 20 point. Okay, so we got to shut that down, which I think I was in the process of building something to do that anyway, or at least researching something. So we'll go here first, take a look. So we lost an O2 filter. Oh, that was the big one. That was the minus, um, the minus 22 one. So we're going to need to build another one. Or we're going to need to start upgrading this one as soon as possible. Uh, we do have the carbon fixture, which should be helping. Minus 40 oxygen. Oxygen's at plus 21. Plus 21. How's that possible? Oh, because of the 5 and the 4. So that's no good. We'll need to raise... We'll need to upgrade one more biofixture lab and we can do that. So let's go ahead and upgrade another one here. All right, and I need something that's going to get rid of water. Something that's going to get rid of water. We have plus 40 water. We got to shut that down like now. So I would need an electrolysis plant. And I think I talked about this before, but it ended up beelining to the spaceport. So let me go ahead and get that, or at least get it started. Let's see. Yeah, yeah, it's more oxygen. Okay, so let's go ahead and research this. We'll actually just go ahead and... St I got 55 Genesis points. I'm doing really good on the Genesis points. So we'll just go ahead and rush these here. That's what Genesis points are for. Then we can go here. We can start building that right away. I'll put it right here in this area. That's going to give me plus 10 oxygen, so I need to keep doing something that's going to get rid of oxygen. I could put down another carbon fixer, but I think I'll just build these O2 filters and start upgrading them. If I do that, let's see. Actually, look at this. If I do that, I should be able to offset it before it hits 210,000. The minus 40 here is going to zero that out, but by the time that's built, we'll almost be at 300,000, so that'll be really close. And then that'll cancel out that there, and we'll have to cancel out the plus 10 oxygen on that, probably using more O2 filters. So we're doing pretty good with everything else. How's the population? This is maxed out here. It just hasn't maxed out here, and we could... Do another hab dome that's going to give us more oxygen and water. Better not do anything that's going to increase oxygen or water for a while. The hab domes we got, um, I think, are good enough. Probably wouldn't hurt to find a new colony. Someplace here. And uh, we'll call it... Uh, is that Stu Stuland? Stuland? We'll just call it the land. <laughs> we'll build it right there. And the reason I'm going to do this actually is because I'm going to go ahead and put my spaceport here. That increases pressure. That's not going to matter. And then I'm going to start cycling things out. I'll start taking things from different areas and kind of moving them around so that way one colony does all of one thing and one colony does all of one thing. I think that's a better way to organize it. 
So right now this colony does all it has all the bio fixture labs and that's all it's ever going to do. I'm never going to build anything else here. I'm just going to let that do that. So actually what I should do is change this and have this one instead of this one. This one should just be all negative oxygen. So I'm actually going to cancel this and build it and then just do things that get rid of oxygen here. I don't know if I should do more O2 filters. If I do another carbon fixer, um, let's see, that's plus 10 pressure. See, there's going to be no way to shut all that off when the time comes. Plus 10 pressure. These are minus 40 pressure. Now, I'll just keep doing the O2 filters to cancel out what I've got. Let me actually build another O2 filter population is only at 1900 here, but it has the potential for 50,000. So it's going to go up. So that's two more O2 filters and I'll just keep upgrading those. Like I'm upgrading this one. They're pretty quick to upgrade. So we'll just go with that for now. Uh, we won't do anything crazy. And then the land here is yeah, where we're going to build our Spaceport, but it's also going to be where we build the electrosis plant that's going to give us oxygen as well. But then we'll do any everything with water will be there. Actually, could name these after. I might do that in my next run um, when I do the moon or something. I might name these, be better organized, name this one, you know, like pressure or oxygen or water or whatever, and then build there. So that way I know instantly where to go. I'm not like cycling between the different ones trying to find like certain facilities or whatnot i just instantly know where i've got to go when i need something It'd probably be the better way to do it um i'm not gonna build let's see live shows plus five a minute population plus 1500 i'm just gonna take the extra credits i always like taking the extra credits uh and then instead of doing that i'm gonna find a new outpost We've got a while before we're doing anything with water, but I'll build it. Zakrov's wish. That's from, isn't that from, Zakrov's wish. It's pretty sure that's from Alpha Centauri, the game Alpha Centauri. I could be wrong. Let's see if we got anything good here to use. Yep, go for rhodium first. See if anything pops up that's like, ooh. It's not bad. So, ooh. it right there that's the uh, it's not bad it's the spot okay how about this I told you I found out that just going like this versus like trying to do the whole focus thing because you can see it's like saying oh there's a little bit everywhere oh we'll just lower the focus but then you know, you're still doing this whole sweeping motion anyways. So it doesn't make a bit of difference, really, I find. And even then, like, nothing's really going off the charts. But then you, you get down to there and you're like, oh, well, it's a little bit better. So it's I just find that lowering the focus all the way <clears throat> and then just grabbing this thing and flying around with it. Yeah, see, there we go. Gives me a little bit better readings. So that's not bad. What about silver? There, see, silver. We got a lot of silver right there, actually. That'll pay out, yeah, even more than that, so good. All right, that should be more than enough. Um, All right, so we'll go ahead and spend a culture point once we've got it. We're actually getting pretty up there with culture points. 50%, we're already halfway there in terms of independence. So we won't declare independence until we've actually, you know, made the planet livable. But still... Um, so the heat temperature is just going to go down naturally. I'm going to keep letting that go down as the atmosphere thins out. 
we're upgrading this biofixture lab. So we should see that and the effects of that soon. I'm hoping to see 6 million here shortly. Oxygen, we're going to balance this out. Once I get the other O2 filters built, we're going to start upgrading more and more. Uh, so we can get this plus 21 uh, down to zero. So we hit our 210,000 uh, parts per million goal. I'll probably, um, by the time I actually get all of these upgraded to cancel this out, uh, this should be close enough to there. And then water, we're going to cancel that out because you can see we've got a lot of vapor in the atmosphere. So what's going to happen is as the temperature drops and the pressure drops, all of this is going to come raining down and we don't want it to exceed this. So if I, by the time I get that built and cancel this out, um, we'll wait for this to rain and then we might raise it with uh, just a geocistern or something, get it up to the 300,000 and we'll be done. And then uh, none of this is really matters though. You can see population is going up and the uh, money situation is not a problem. So that is it for this episode. I want to thank you all for joining me. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>